is Dave Ingram. I'm the president and CEO of Capital Tech Search. Nikki Fielding. I'm the president of Digital Brand Expressions. I'm the CEO of Harley Stanfield Incorporated. We're based in Memphis, Grand Junction, Colorado. We currently have 30 employees. We have 100 people. 160 employees. 20 employees and 1,500 independent sales reps. Jobs created have been approaching about 400. I started out as a young entrepreneur. Uh, my first business was selling custom-made rubber band guns. Did the paperboy thing, cutting yards, selling fireworks. Dog sitting and yard sales. Had the first idea at 13. I started my first company in high school. When we started, we were two guys in a living room uh, doing uh, Google AdWords campaigns and watching Lord of the Rings. And our warehouse was the corner behind the couch in the condo. What happened was I got fired on my birthday. Every time we hire a family, a person, it's not one person, it's usually two to three to four to five people that we are really supporting. I take my role as the leader and owner of my company extremely seriously. When you have to uh, be ready to feed 120 families every week, that's, that's, a, that's a daunting task. Every day that I go to work and I drive into the parking lot and I see all those cars, I think of the really big responsibility that I have. I think the whole idea of making a dignified place for your employees, that everyone is prospering as your business prospers, this is the only thing that's interesting to me. I describe an entrepreneur as someone who dives off a cliff and learns to swim on the way down. Entrepreneurs find niche, niches that need to be filled, whether it's because something's annoyed them that they can't do, uh, or whether they see an opportunity to make some money. The profession that it is most like is a uh, Roman Catholic priest. It's, it's a calling. I mean, you go through so much to, to get your company so that it's successful that you have to be crazy to do it. You have to be driven to do it. I think an entrepreneur is a mindset. And if you have the mindset, you are cursed or blessed. I guess one of the main reasons I became an entrepreneur was I was having trouble working for other people. The enterprising spirit to create something new from something that didn't exist. If you're doing it for the money, you're going to fail. You've got to have the passion to want to change the world, to, to make that difference. I think oftentimes when you hear the media cover small business, it comes down to the context of people who own subway franchises. It doesn't speak to people who grow marketing firms or IT companies or create the new widget. And we need that voice out in the marketplace, particularly in the political arena. The bottom line is that change, innovation, come from entrepreneurship. That is the one thing I think that we all have in common. The individuals who generate all of our new jobs and net new jobs, they need to be supported in this endeavor. And typically, you know, we're not supported. We're almost, um, fought against from policies and things like that and it's it's a shame and it's, a, it's, a, it's very fortunate very timely that the Coffee Foundation is really out there driving that uh, driving that need driving that demand and representing us and take this movement on a more global level and help us advance the cause other than just our little neck of the, uh, the world. <laughs>